Small little girl. Why does it cry, small little girl? Amazon hurts us. The truck does. You think you get your packages for free? I told you they had a message to tell. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Royce. Welcome back to A Drink With Crazy. And thank you for putting up with that insufferable intro. But if I'm going to do a Lord of the Rings video, I'm going to do my knockoff golem voice that you could find in the bottom of a dollar store bin. Oh boy, that was embarrassing. I don't know if I'm going to do that again. <laughs> <laughs> but let's get into this video because I got everybody's talking about this. I got to talk about this uh, today. We're we're back to Bush Light. I, I drank all my ex well. I didn't drink all my expensive beers. I still have a couple left, but they're ten percent. Not on a weeknight. Not on a week. Not on a not on a school night. Children drink responsibly on school nights. Or children don't drink. Oh shit, <laughs> that was a joke. For legal reasons, that was a joke. Children should never ever drink any sort of alcoholic beverage. That was a joke. I. <laughs> I forgot. I can't joke on YouTube the way I joke with my friends. That was a joke. For legal reasons, that was a joke. This video is not made for children. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> so to the people out there checking out this video, I, <laughs> the rings of power. I was trying to think of video topics and trying to figure out what to... And I, and I didn't want to cover this, but like... The level of people that I watch covering this and, like, like rage-hating on this, and they're, like, gonna rage-turn their channels into it, which is f just funny. It's reaching levels of hilarity to me that I'm like, I can't not talk about this, right? Obviously, they are eviscerating Tolkien's work. They are completely bastardizing everything the guy has ever said in any of his writings. Anybody who's ever looked into Tolkien, watched his interviews, read a couple of his letters, or even just excerpts of his letters, which I fall into that category, uh, as I've also watched it, the interviews that he's uh, done and documentaries on Tolkien's life, and I think he's just a, just a wonderful man, or was a wonderful man, God rest his soul. But... With everything happening with the, with the Lord of the Rings, the Lord of the Rings fan base is coming out in droves against this show, right? And it's one of those things that I really didn't expect. I thought it was going to be similar to the Star Wars thing, but I am looking at this going, is this going to be the final nail or one of the final nails in the coffin of this idealized editorialized agenda that they have where they have to they have to editorialize everything that we grew up with and all the IPs that we love and then put their ideology into it I call it the fourth great religion most people call it woke I don't call it that I call it the fourth great religion because it functions just like that um, and is quite terrifying when you actually start peeling apart the pieces and looking into how the wokeism works. I, I hate the word woke. God, I hate that word. So we'll call it the fourth great religion. But with these people and their fourth great religion and all of the concepts that they have wrapped into it, it is obvious that they absolutely despise the things that built the world, which is crazy because if you know anything about human history, like the world is full of bloodshed with a few moments of peace sprinkled you know, here and there. But everything happening with this, with the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power, which if anybody knows, it wouldn't actually be called the Lord of the Rings. It would actually be the Silmarillion, the Rings of Power. I am a novice when it comes to this, but even I know that, okay? And with the uproar of the Tolkien fan base, I'm... From what I am seeing from guys like Nerd Rotic and Geeks and Gamers and all that is that Amazon knows that they messed up here. I question whether or not they know if they messed up and whether or not if they think or they don't think they're going to get their money back. Now, it is a wonderful thought to think, oh, hey, maybe. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry, sinuses are a little jacked up today. Whether or not they are thinking that they're going to get their money back or... They did wrong. Is this going to be the nail in the coffin when it comes to the injection of the fourth great religion into our media, into our culture? 
Will they start to back off from this? I mean, eventually you would think the money men would step in and say no. Now, granted, that being said, there's also a lot of gobbledygook going on in the world with the reserve currencies as well. I mean, inflation and all that stuff. So, I mean, these guys have a few bucks to spare. But looking at the, the hype for all this, it's all rage hype. It's all hype around absolutely wanting to ideologically eviscerate this show. And you stand atop the mountain of this show's dead story and say, we have won. We have taken it back. You cannot do this to our mythologies. You cannot do this to us. I am hopeful that this is what's going to happen. The Rings of Power makes me hopeful. Now, that doesn't mean that I don't want to see the Iron Age continue, right? The things that, like, Young Rippa is doing, what the Daily Wire is attempting to do, and all of these media companies that are trying to get away from the fourth great religion and make movies and television based off of what we know has been tried, true, and tested for thousands of years at this point. I mean, the things that are based off of you know, uh, Judeo-Christianity and the Greek Enlightenment uh, are largely why we kind of got where we are, as well as a couple other philosophies thrown in there and mixed in. But all of this be- coming to a head with the Lord of the Rings is something that I would not have ever guessed. I thought they would have done it with Star Wars. I bailed on Star Wars when they decanonized the extended universe. Admittedly, there was a lot of the extended universe that was hot garbage. Um, I was always hopeful to see the Old Republic, something so far removed from the Skywalker storyline because I felt that the Skywalker storyline had been completed and that they needed to explore different parts of the uh, Star Wars universe. They didn't, obviously. We know how that story plays out. I don't need to get into that the Star Wars thing there, but I thought it was going to be there. It didn't happen. Obviously, they were uh, tampering with Star Trek before that. They nailed other IPs that I don't even know about, that I didn't even know about until like a few years ago, like Doctor Who. You know, they have absolutely injected this fourth great religion into everything. But for some reason, once they went after Tolkien and went to inject the fourth great religion into his works and eviscerate what he wrote, people are standing up. People are not having it. The dislike ratios are insane on YouTube. They're deleting them like crazy. They're trying to delete comments. They're trying to skirt this under the rug. They are are working as a company and putting time, effort, energy, and money into YouTube likes. How powerful is the fan base right now that the the world's first like trillion dollar company or i think they're trillion anyway multi hundred billion dollar company is going we have to silence these people because their fourth great religion is failing and it is failing bad how awesome is this how fantastic is that i know this channel kind of got is blowing up because of Eric July, and he always says, hashtag, we will win, right? We will win. And I couldn't believe, and it hit me today. I was like, holy crap, we, we might actually win. And not in 10 years, maybe not this year, but before 10 years, sooner than that? That's what's so exciting about what's happening with this whole Rings of Power thing right now. That's what is so incredible is we are looking at the conflict between what has been tried, true, and tested and this new this new religion, this this false religion, this religion that is based upon man. And the ideologies clashing with each other and what people hold true in their hearts. And that makes me the most excited that I could possibly be to see that the values and the idealism that I grew up with are standing firm with a shield down in the ground saying, no, you will not get past 
No, that wasn't a Gandalf reference. I realize what you're thinking. No, stop it. Stop it. It wasn't a you shall not pat. No, stop it. But how incredible is it that we are witnessing the utter destruction of this fourth great religion inside of our media because people are standing up and saying, no, you will not change what we know to be true. Thank you all so much for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you guys like what I am doing here, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and like the video. If you guys really like what I'm doing and you really like what I'm bringing to this, share this video with everyone that you know. Because, well, if I'm doing a good job and I've earned it, share it. If I'm not doing a good job and I need to work on it, let me know what I need to work on. And I will see you guys next time right here on A Drink With Crazy. Cheers, everyone. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.